affordable cannabis for vets in Massachusetts, and can THC help you lose weight? This is Katie with Berry Hill, keeping you up to date with the latest in cannabis news. A new study suggests that frequent cannabis use promotes a lean physique. Researchers at the University of California compared the body mass of two groups of mice. One group was exposed to THC as adolescents, the other group was not. Researchers found those that were exposed to THC displayed less fat mass and more lean mass. These mice were also more resistant to obesity and high blood sugar. They also had warmer body temperatures than the THC-free mice, and were less capable of using fuel from fat stores. On a molecular level, it was discovered that the THC mice were less able to use stored nutrients for muscle activity. While this study provides some interesting discoveries, more research is needed to fully understand the physical and mental effects of long-term cannabis use. More states are looking to psychedelics as real medical treatments for mental disorders. The highly conservative state of Utah is expressing interest in the legalization of psychedelic therapy. A Utah state senator, Luz Escamilla, says that it would be an opportunity to add to the toolbox for our massive mental health crisis. Utah would like to propose a bill for legal psychedelic treatment under psychiatric supervision. They aim to keep legalization for medicinal use instead of recreational use, which means decriminalization will not be a goal on the horizon for a while. Will the pursuit of happiness and mental ease win out in ultra-conservative states like Utah? Only time will tell. Massachusetts considers removing the registration fee for veterans who are trying to use the medical marijuana program. The state's Cannabis Control Commission discovered that despite the state's large population of veterans who would qualify for medical, many are not in the program. Part of the issue is that many use a veteran's administration facility for their health care, and due to the federally illegal status of cannabis, they cannot get medical marijuana through these facilities. Another issue is the cost of certification for a med card. Many of these veterans are surviving off a of fixed disability income, making it difficult to afford the medicine they need. Currently, many veterans are prescribed opioids to combat chronic pain, but the risk of addiction with these drugs outweighs any benefits. Many believe that medical marijuana is the better solution. Now it's about taking the necessary action to make it happen. So go ahead and like this video and subscribe to stay up to date with the latest in cannabis news.